This week, we are back at Bloomfield Road and the visitors are big spending Bournemouth. The Blackpool fans were so, so loud at Bournemouth. We went 2-0 down in the first half, but in the second half, we came back. Off to Bloomfield Road, but before I do, I'd just like to give a quick mention to our channel sponsor, Andy Higgins of Postal and Data Systems. If you've got a business and you want to save money on your postal costs, or you want to do a mailing campaign, then the details to contact Andy are down there, or give him a call on 07 809 556 422. We're going to get off to Bloomfield Road. If you're going, see you there. Freddie, Fletcher, Miller, Lyndon, 32. Two. Three bags of Dorset apple cake. And there's another bag here. How many have you got, Rob, all together? 141 portions. I made 14 cakes in two days. Came out from Bournemouth on Wednesday, came, went to the youth team game, Yeah. and then spent the last two days baking. 3-0 Blackpool. 3-0. I'll take 2-1. I'll take a draw. One off. Yeah, one more, I think. 2-1 to Blackpool. Oh, Making our way over to Wiffle Road. And it stopped raining. Uh, okay, it's been lucky for the last couple of times, so I'm going in 13 again. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Hey. Addison. Score today? 2 uh, 1 Blackpool. Who's going to score? Uh, Josh Bowler and Gary Medine. Oscar. Uh, Avon score's going to be 2 1. Here we go. Cheers, Bluebill. Number six, Kevin Stewart. Number Stewart back in.
time's got to be up. Come on, referee. It's got to be up, surely. Yeah, that's it, half time. Great first half. Missed penalty by Bournemouth. Uh, it's a bit of a terrible penalty, actually. Uh, it was great that Grimshaw stood his ground and didn't get, didn't move when he did the little shuffle. And of course, it all, you know, just put it straight to his hands. And of course, Josh Bowler, what do you think, Jane? I was listening to an 80s playlist this morning um, when I was getting ready, and there was a song that came on called You Can't Hurry Love by Phil Collins. And I'll tell you what, I've waited 31 years for Josh Bowler. <laughs> I love him. I've been crying, honestly, ever since that goal went in. Uh, so lucky. Crying with happiness. <laughs> yeah, definitely. We're so lucky to have him. And uh, Jane um, has to tell you a little story about the penalty. As he was shaping up to take the penalty, I had my hand on, and I was rubbing the, the lucky orange arrow for luck and lo and behold, Grimmy saved the pen. So. It's only half time, but it's a great first half. You know, they're a good side Bournemouth, don't write them off. They attack very quickly and uh, they're quite scary. Yeah, but they're a, they're a football inside and we're a football inside. It's not like they're clattering Josh Bowler like, um, no, like Coventry. Coventry did. Um, so I think, I think we'll be fine. I'm feeling good about this. And what do we think of Bournemouth's kit, guys? Because it's one I think I'd wear, but it's kind of like you don't want to be wearing those camouflage colours on the pitch, do you? It's very no, weird. It's, no, it's hard to make them out, really. It's a very strange kit. You can't. It's very hard to tell the numbers. Jamie was saying you can't see the yeah, numbers. No, the numbers are well. in black. Well, the camouflage, aren't they? It's really camouflage. Kit. You can put <laughs> yeah, them in the any colour. It doesn't make any difference. The the <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, folks. If you haven't yet subscribed, you know, please just pick that little button down there, and also... Read my blog, jamesstewart.co.uk, it's very yeah, good. It'll all be down there, James' blog about today. Uh, so, look forward to that one as well. Thanks for watching. Come on, the pool. That was the best goal of the season, that. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, to each yeah subscribe. I reckon we're going to go on second half. Um, I reckon they might get a goal, but we'll snatch in the 90th or 80th minute. Yeah, so what score is it? <laughs> <laughs> Say 2 0. <laughs> 1 0, uh, Blackpool, yeah. and it's going to finish. 2 0. What do you think of Bowler's goal? Fantastic. Put another 2 million on his price. Oh, watch this, it's dangerous. Chances Blackpool. Still 1 0, but it could have been better. Let's sort this out. Here they come again. Keep it tight, Blackpool. You can't miss so many chances and not get punished. It's a cruel game, football. First time this summer all game. Oh, get up. We're now hanging in. Five minutes. Well, you do 
deserve the win today. Chances we've had. Oh, God, here they come again from our corner. Oh, no! referee in this. We really had to play the referee today. I've never seen a referee give so many... Just give him anything. Oh, we're in the last kick of the games here. There's not long, there's not long to go. Referee performances I've seen on Blue for a in a long time. What a bent referee you are! Give him everything. Yeah, it is booing off. It ain't booing off. What a disgrace! What a disgraceful performance, referee. That's why they invented beer, folks. That's why they invented beer. I thought Blackpool played absolutely brilliant today. You know, we're struggling with injuries. We lost Marvin Ekpeteta. Oli Casey just slotted in. Never seen him before, have we? And he just slotted in like he'd always been playing there. Who would have thought we'd have Casey and Thornley playing at the back? There's something it's... quite incredible about having a referee like that today. Oh, he was... Who just, yeah. who just could not stop giving them free kicks for anything. You know, penalty. I was saying it for it's the last 20 we've minutes. Had a long time. We've had plenty of chances to win that game, and we just didn't take the chances. We've hit the crossbar. We could have been two or three up, and you pay the price, and we paid the price. And the minute they got that equaliser, I said to Jane, they're going to go on and win this, and I, I, I just knew it. I just but knew they As would. I said at half time, you know, we've got the we've got the power down the flanks, but in the middle, you know, Jerry's got no confidence. It got to the stage where he almost conceded us a goal and he took him off and it's just you know I love Jerry we all love Jerry don't we but you know he's got to get that confidence back and, and what do you do what do you do do you keep playing him in the hope one goes in off his bum or do you just bring Shane in I don't know I don't know what the answer is I wouldn't be a football manager would you no not really but I just feel like you know Middlesbrough was harsh but this was like this was real. Honestly, sometimes, you know, you watch football and it's just a pain. Every credit to Bournemouth, you know, they didn't stop going. They were dangerous. They were, they were dangerous all second half. You know, let's not take it away from Bournemouth. They, you know, they were coming at us and they did look dangerous every time they're on the ball. But Blackpool had enough chances to have won this game. And we can't blame the referee for everything. We've got to take He can chances. fuck off though. But yeah, he can fuck off, yeah, absolutely. He was, he was one of the worst referees I've ever seen. He was. And this he's, linesman he's, he's, down this side as well. Worst we've had There's this one ball actually. where it was clearly out and he gave them a, a corner down here. This was when Ekpateta got injured and just just disgraceful officials again, just giving it the, you know, the, the, the bigger club. But Blackpool were brilliant. We were Played brilliant. really well. It was we a good were. game of football, enjoyable game of football. We're yeah. not going to win every match. It's the championship. It's not going to happen. Oh, we should have won today. Though. So won. I'd rather we played like that and lost. Hi, right, Jamie. So, tell me what you're telling me all about here. What's going on in Blackpool? Uh, the Bible Festival. Right? Yeah. It's at Norbert Castle on the uh, 4th and 5th of March. Yeah. Um, all tribute bands, but local tribute bands and national tribute bands. So, if you like uh, indie rock music, that's where you need to be on that weekend. Easy one, kid! Easy one, kid! Sex Who needs mates like that, eh? Right, so who have we got on at this? Uh, we've got Jamie, 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 we've
Yeah, so we've got, we've got sort of Oasis, Arctic Monkeys, uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Kings of Leon, all tribute bands, but they're great tribute bands. Okay, if people are interested in going to it, how do they find it? You need to, yeah, need to go to Skiddle or go to revivalpartable.com. Uh, as Bat yeah, as Battle fans, if you put Critchley in, you can get a ticket with just £10. Okay.